Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are making a classic Japanese favorite, curry rice. This dish is not only a staple in Japanese cuisine, but also versatile and perfect for any season. We will also show you a delicious way to enjoy leftover curry, so make sure to stick around for that. Let's get started! First, cut the vegetables for the curry and the pickles. Chop the curry vegetables into large bite-sized pieces. For the pickles, thinly slice the purple onion along the grain. Cut the bell pepper by removing the stem and seed, then slicing it into 5 to 6 mm wide strips, halving them in lengths. If the meat is not already bite sized, Cut it into bite-sized pieces. Since the pickles are eaten low, if using the same cutting board and knife, start by cutting the pickles. Then move on to the curry vegetables and finally cut the raw meat. Start with the pickles. Mix the pickling ingredient in a plastic bag. Add the onions and massage them into the mixture. On the same bag, add the bell pepper and massage again. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. Next, let's move on to the curry. For the curry, heat salad oil in the stick pot and fry the chopped ingredients until the onions are soft. Add water and bring to a boil. Skimming off any form. Simmer the ingredients until they become soft. After bringing to a boil, let them cook on a low-medium heat for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, turn off the heat and add the curry roux, stirring until it's completely dissolved. Then turn the heat back on to a low setting and continue to simmer for about 10 more minutes, stirring occasionally. The curry is done when it has thickened and the vegetables are tender. In Japan, curry is often served with pickles like rakkyo or fukujinzuke. But today, we've made a simple side dish with easy to find ingredients that pairs perfectly with the curry. Curry rice is a year-round favorite, hearty and great for your health. It's so flavorful, you might want to have second. Leftover curry tastes even better the next day. Try making curry juria. Layer warm rice in an oven safe dish, top with warm curry, make a small indent in the middle, Crack an egg into it and sprinkle cheese on top. Bake until the cheese is golden brown. 
The combination of creamy melted egg and cheese with curry is exquisite and incredibly delicious. It offers a different flavor experience from regular curry rice. Let's look over what we use today. Thank you for joining us in the making this healthy curry rice. We hope you enjoyed the recipe and the extra tip for your leftover curry. Curry rice is a warm, comforting dish that's perfect for any day. If you try this recipe or the curry drill, let us know in the comments how it turns out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more delicious Japanese cooking. Happy cooking and see you in the next video. Bye bye!